Hello and welcome to this FL Synth Maker tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to construct the two ask synth. First of all we're going to add a voices module and an audio out module. Now add two oscillators from the oscillator group. I am adding two multi oscillators here. But you can use other oscillators like a wave draw, sample or additive oscillator. From the voices module connect the frequency out to the frequency ins on the multi oscillators. Now let's add a filter from the filter group to the project. I am adding a state variable filter but you could also use a MOOC filter or any other filter in the filter group. From the voices module connect the pitch out to the pitch in of the filter. This will enable the track knob on the filter module. I am adding a filter envelope and I connect it from the envelope out to the cut in on the state variable filter. I am adding another envelope, this will be an amp envelope. Also I am adding a voltage controlled amplifier, this will control the velocity levels. Let's place the amplifier envelope in between. So from the filter out to the amp in and from the amp envelope out to the voltage control filter that will control the velocity. I am adding a combiner. This will convert all poly audio streams to a mono stream. I'm connecting that to the audio out module. From the voices module, I am connecting the volume out to the level in of the voltage controlled amplifier. Now you got a basic setup of a synth. Now let's give all the modules a unique name, so that you don't get into trouble later on when constructing the graphical user interface. From the control group, I'm going to add some group adornments for the graphical user interface. Let's change the name from group into oscillator. I will add a couple of more. To rename, just click the properties button, the little P on the module. I'm selecting all and making a module out of that. Now we can start on doing a little work on the front panel. First we unlock the panel to move so we can move stuff around. All the modules are showing the descriptions I inputted earlier. So I should know what everything is and where everything should be. 
the best way to design a user interface is to keep the flow of the audio path as much as possible. As you can see the group adornment is on top of the filter module. It should be the other way around, so I'm sending it to the back. Let's add a background. I have some pre-made backgrounds here that I'm going to use. I'm going to make a module out of that and renaming it to background to keep things neat. Switching back to the front panel and you can see it appears now on the front panel. We'll send that to the back. going to resize the front panel and lock it again. Now I want to change the color of the group adornments. I can do this in the properties. Here's the outline. I'm going to make that black. And the label I'm going to change to black as well. doing the others as well and let's see how that looks. There you have a very basic setup of a synth. I'm going to add a modulation matrix like you would find on any synth. So let's add some components for the routing matrix. I'm going to add a couple of LFOs. Now, I'm renaming the LFOs. To use the routing matrix, you need to have the source and targets properly set up with the same names as in the properties of the routing matrix itself. Let's add those source and target modules. I am giving every source a unique name. 